What did I read recently? Read. I say read. Lord Elden Ring. I finished Elden Ring and I was like, as soon as I finished okay. it, I was like hungry for some actual fucking story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something that actually like, tells something you Something that story. actually was well written. <laughs> I was like desperate. Yeah. So I started reading like some classic um, sci-fi and fantasy. And I was like, thank fuck. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't play that game for the intricate plot. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. George. It was just, it was, not only was it just completely ham, ham everything. Ham fisted, ham, ham boobed. The whole thing was ham everything. Also yeah. ham. But, like... It just it was even full of plot holes, like within that. Like there even was? if you try and work I didn't know out there was a plot. Well, because Rani is yeah. supposed to be an Empyrean, right? Yeah, but you're yeah. only an Empyrean if you are born from a single god, which yeah. is Ranagun and Marika, but Renala is supposed to be Rani's mom. Yeah. And we're like, What? Hold on. In Renala's boss fight, Rani turns up and is like defends her. That's why there's the whole moon bit. Because Rani's defending yeah. her mum. But She's not, an, but Renala is not an Imperial. I thought they were the same She's person. A, anyway, there's basically like, <laughs> it's like, well, that's the part of the problem. That you start the game, and one of the characters, there's, there's Rennie, Rani. Re, she calls herself Rani, calls herself Rena, but also Rena. she's also supposed yeah. to be Melina, who is different to Melania. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason for that. <laughs> I didn't really give a fuck about the story. <laughs> None honestly. of these are plot holes. <laughs> oh my well, fuck. it's not a plot hole, but it's unexplained. It is unexplained. Is it? Why Rani is the Imperium. Who was in the egg? Be well, it's the... Oh, I thought Rani was in the egg. No, they're like the little golden no, egg. No, Rani's not in the egg. And she's like hugging. Mikella's in the egg. Damn but plot holes. They didn't know it hatched. <laughs> I think the reason why the names are what, similar the egg behind is just... Moog? No, the egg um, that yeah. Rani's yeah. holding. Well, he's supposed to be with oh, one of the other gods. The, the, you mean in the, the uh, amber, the amber egg. egg? Who oh, knows amber... what's in the amber Aren't egg? Aren't they just clones of Renala? Okay. That's what I was thinking. Or it's not even clones, it's reiterations, because the Elden Ring is built upon different ages, which is why you keep discovering Ra Or Radagon models. gave the egg to Ranala. Oh. Rad Radigan. What a stupid plot. And also, Radagon being... Out loud. <laughs> Radigan is... But she came from the egg. The no, whole, he gave her the that egg. Whole, that whole thing, by the way, Radigan is, is Marika, is the most fucking bogus load of crap. It, it, it is very much just like the fact that you're crazy. annoyed by this means if that you follow the, the story better than I do. <laughs> it's because there's different iterations. You got the fucking Golden Order ending with Gold Mask. I did. I, I got all the achievements. Did you get the Gold Achieve Mask? Gold. I like Gold Mask. I thought he was probably the best character. Because he didn't he say a word. Because he's like pointing at the, the, the tree. He pointed the sun, has a weird And there's like a guy with a notebook who follows him around word. like, oh yeah, he's moving his finger faster. I like this. I <laughs> yeah, like exactly. that guy. So it's yeah. Good. All right, you in yet? No. What no. are you doing? We start Steam. Forty nine percent. Oh, the, this is what I had last time. Mm. Oh man, I'm excited to play. So no, I, no after I finished Elden Ring twice, I, I went and played Dark Souls three for the first time. I, I heard. Was, yeah, yeah, I, I saw. Like it's um, I saw you playing it, and I was like, damn son, you you're committed. I watched a video from a guy who was talking about how he went back and did it, and then I felt like I didn't have to do it. Um, <laughs> I was gonna do exactly what you did. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, well, I, I I originally played it when it first came out, and I got stuck on the first like tree, the tree boss, which is like the second boss, and I never. never I think got, I got stuck there too. I never got past it, and then after coming back after playing Elden Ring for 120 hours, I on trees through the whole game. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly, it did help that he basically went easy mode weapons, but like, uh, yeah, he 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 did really yeah. struggle a ton. Easy mode weapons. Like, I had, yeah, I had the, the sword starting twin blades weapon jewel saver so thing. They're pretty good. Oh, well, yeah. you just use it for the whole game. Yeah, <laughs> got to yeah, pick them, make them sharp, upgrade them. I was saying to Barry decks. like today. Like, yeah. I think my one, mm -hmm. my one request for Elden Ring for the, for a mod that would make the game better is if all of your weapons and spirit acids just leveled up together. So yeah. you only level, yeah. you only had to do it once, and then you can swap when you want. You could just yeah. use all the spirit ashes and all option. the weapons because. Every time I'd loot something, I would be disappointed, which is not what you want. Um, I'd be like, another weapon I'm not going to use, which looks another really cool. Another spirit ash. Oh, another yeah. spirit ash that looks really cool. That I got yeah. Me. And, I, and yeah. I wish partly, partly, partly as well, because even in the very late game, when you're smashing through the last few bosses, they drop loads of stuff. And there's no way I'm 
taking the time to... Especially at that, that point in the game. level it up. Yeah, at that, that point in the thing. game, you don't know if it's any good until you level it up. Yeah, exactly, because yeah, you've got a, for an plus. unleveled... Z I know, and I, I, I yeah, agree. Yeah, but that like, doesn't always feel like a great reward. Like, you're at the end, and you're getting stuff that's not going to be useful until you start over, you know? That's kind of weird. Yeah, that's you can the use the bell bearings to some extent to, to, to buy You can get up to plus nines pretty easy with bell Yeah, that's true. So it's, it's, they do fix it to some extent, but I think that... Bell bearings fix it a, a lot. Yeah. Of it yeah. would just you be more have fun if I didn't have to, have have to do rooms, that, but... though. Like, I'd just I'd much rather, like... I, I, I'm a, I like to play with diversity. I like to mix it up all the time. Like the first playthrough of Elden Ring, I got almost to the very end as like a great sword guy, but I was so bored of it by that point. And then I switched to Sorcerer and it was so refreshing to just use all the fucking different spells, different stuff. And then I respect it to incantations, used all of those, went back to Sorcerer. I felt like I actually had so much more diversity in there because I was allowed to use all of the stuff. Whereas when I was playing melee, I just, it was a great sword, so that was it. I was the only one I used ever. Mm. Um, I, I, I get it. Like, But the ball bearings, the bell bearings, they're pretty late in the game that you get them. Well, the, the if basic you know where they are, you get them. But... You always get them, um, like, at, when you're starting to drop, like, level uh, four and five, that's when you start being finding the bell bearing that lets you buy two and three. So there's like always one tier behind. The thing is, you so. can, you, if, if you know where the caves are, you can go and rush them. But then you've got, to, I think sometimes you've got to kill well, sort of, like the last cave to get. This is you've got to kill those like, fucking crystal. fucking snow area at the end. Well, those shit, crystal so. dudes called. Oh, the crystallians. The big, like, Fuck. crystal lions. <laughs> those are fucking hard. Those crystal you can never You can never <laughs> buy tens, but like even late game nines are usually fine. Like, yeah, I, I mean, at that worse, point, but... it's not, it's not going to make a difference, is it? I mean, quite honestly, none of it makes a difference, really, you know. Half of these bosses will one-shot you if you're level one or if you're level 100. It doesn't make hmm. a fucking difference. You'll still get one-shot if you get hit. So, you know, what's the point almost two in, shot. like, leveling two sometimes? Shot. I mean, yeah, obviously... Two watching shot, uh, watching uh, Duncan uh, and also playing Dark Souls 3 myself now again, um, I will say that I, I think there's a lot of better bosses in Dark Souls 3 than Elden Ring. Um, there's a lot more you'd be able to learn the moves and, and the faces and figure it out by just dodging and, and figuring out when to block and so on, rather than just this endless aggression of spinning yeah. the entire Yeah, well, this is what arena, I was saying, though. It's like, is the boss's Nail Ring or balanced around you having a summon out? So yeah. that gives you the window to attack. Whilst yeah. the bosses in Dark Souls 3 aren't, so you're meant to be able to have... Win they, they give you windows. I, ju I just think Elden Ring is a very clever game that makes you feel a sense of achievement for doing it. It makes you feel like you've overcome something that's hard, but it's so fucking doable. That's the thing for everyone. Like, like, mm. like twenty-five percent of people who've bought Elden Ring have completed it. Mm. Ludicrous. Yeah, it's like, crazy. It doesn't, but it doesn't feel it's like a long that, game, right? Well. And, and also, that's like a normal game on Steam. Like, n in fact, more than a normal game. Like most games yeah, on yeah, Steam yeah. do not have that high level of achievement. Like people, I think I looked at Dying Light Two, and it was like twenty percent of people who completed that who bought it. Maybe just because yeah. they got bored of it or sick of it or whatever, not because it was too hard. But like some games, think, you do the you do the tutorial and you look at the stats and it's got like eighteen percent of really, people have really done this. It's really cleverly done yeah. to make you feel <laughs> like it's a really hard thing that you've you're, and you're a, you're, uh, you're really good for overcoming. Mm. But actually, it's, it's, it's really doable. It's really strange. It really is, yeah. Like honestly, like this, fifteen percent has done. The Rani ending and 10% has done the normal ending. Obviously, there's some overlap there. People can do both. Um, and even 6% have done the Frenzied Flame ending. So, like, that's a surprising amount of completion so for only 6%. a game as big as I mean, bearing Prime in Marvel. mind, like, how yeah. hidden this stuff is. But I also think that we do live in an age where when Elden Ring provides you with so little in the game... It drives people to talking with their friends and looking online for mm. answers. Yes. And then as soon as you've done that once, as soon as you've yep. broken that seal... It's everything's up, baby. everything's game right and you're you're yeah. constantly tabbing out like to 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 make sure you don't miss anything because it's frustrating yeah. to think oh fuck i was here and i missed that thing or i i, I want to do this quest line but i don't know where they spawn because half the time with my first playthrough i ran through all these areas i i, I just missed a guy standing on the side of the road yeah, or whatever same, yeah and and i i part of me didn't want to do that finding the quest is actually hard <laughs> Like, and, and so, the like, part about the quest is dying them. Yeah, in, in a way, like, the, the lack yeah. of information in the game it's does kind of been drive that way in every game. Souls game. Yeah. I remember Dun Duncan's... I got, I got through all of Dark Souls 3 to a single quest. You basically didn't talk to a single NPC. <laughs> <laughs> you just... 
It's weird from though. From like... from start to finish, killing the bosses. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I want to do. That's how I did it. That's all I like, care about is killing yeah. as well. Like, yeah, I just I'm not, I'm not walked through you did place wrong. to place, it's, found yeah. rooms, that's, killed the bosses in them. That's, I think, how most normal people will play the game. I mean, I in theory, that's not bad. Like, there's just extra stuff to do if you want. I think, I think I found it a lot more satisfying though when I was taking a more completionist attitude to it and. Um, like like going through and actually learning the fucking law because the, the first time I sort of went through yeah. it I was just so confused about everything and people would people would say to me these things and I'd be like I have no fucking idea what you're talking about yeah they'd be point, like point point the next Lord, giant snake to the kill kingdom do you know what I mean soul and you're like whatever but then when I actually started unpicking it it was more satisfying but, it, but even then it's only skin deep the story of Elden Ring really it's very kind of weird I I got, like, it's it's there's people out there basic. that will spend hours digging there's it, basically an incestuous family stories. it's pretty uh, yep. basic ones you look into who it, fucked each other yeah. and had yep. cursed babies That's kind because of they went up to George R. Martin and said you're selling great with God Make it for this. We, and that do you know what they were like? They were like George, come in and give us advice. He's like incest. In, add some incest. And they're like, <laughs> what do you mean? And he's like, <laughs> make the <laughs> sister and the brother the same person and make them fuck different people. Then make them fuck each other. And he's like, okay, sure. George, you're a genius. Uh, yeah, crazy. Get over a throne again. Here's a million dollars. <laughs> Thank you. All right, it's, it's I patched. literally can't eat right now, but George can go live in Cabo. Because he writes incest stories. That's what he did. That's that's literally the the plot of Elden Ring for you guys. If you didn't, oh, don't <laughs> didn't, didn't uh, it's not really spoilers because you can't fucking find it in the game. The game doesn't <laughs> tell you. Like you have to yeah. basically dig through like uh, yeah. the, the menus to like press Look R on every weird weapon, items. Weapon, every armor piece to find out about the incest. <laughs> Gold mask though. Gold mask is a good one. I liked him. <laughs> Gold mask was also into incest. And his little like um, his little withered, That's why he looks little like withered that. ass. Oh, yeah. A little withered ass. I want to be the guy who follows Gold Mask around. Brother Corin, brother, brother Corin. Corin. Yeah. I liked him. <laughs> Weirdly, he seemed, he seemed very positive. That guy, you know, very wholesome. <laughs> I saw a tweet about Elden Ring. I loved. I don't have the patience or ability to play Elden Ring, but I'm madly jealous of everyone else tweeting stuff like, I found Borgus the Wretched Goat Herder in the Plain of Tormented Milk. His head is eight dogs. I had to fight him 342 times. He wept as he died. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 342. Felina, that is, that, is a, that is a lot of attempts, that's a, though. A beautiful... That's very Elden That Ring. is like Elden Ring in a nutshell, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. There was a lot of times where you're just like, wow, when you run around Elden Ring, which is the best part about it. The, that first week I was playing it, just kept discovering new and amazing things. <sighs> yeah, Join. it was it was nice. Pain. It was it was wonderful to explore, but I think the that joy of it of discovery was outweighed by the FOMO of of, of lack of understanding and missing out and frustration. Quite I'm heavily. In. I didn't need a password. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, there's definitely some sort of balance there. No, I didn't put password on it. Random fuckers have been joining this whole time. Oh, have they? Neat. Yes. 